Hi there, it's Shell and Clint, but he's at work. So I didn't end up doing a video yesterday. Um, so much going on in Florida, I was just too stressed to worry about it. Uh, though I did do a couple of these guys, and I wanted to check the size on them. So I had pulled some, uh, as you can tell, some acorn leaves, or what are these called, hats. <laughs> Some of them are really small, teeny tiny. So um, I just kind of guesstimated on the size, but I think they're going to be pretty good. So let me move my thing over here so I can make sure I stay in frame. Um, and I thought I would show you guys how to do this. I did just search on um, the internet, but yeah, look at that. Won't this be a fun? addition to that um, journal. So I would like to have like, you know, eight or ten of these hanging as a um, the charms for like a tassel. I don't think I want tons of things on the tassel, but I think I'm done with the teeny tiny ones. And I didn't even look at them yesterday. I was just kind of, you know, seeing seeing how big they needed to be but I think I'll grab my Fabri-Tac in a little bit and drill holes in these and put these in but I did want to check my sizes see that's one's way too small but I knew these were pretty small and so but look how cute that is isn't that awesome I love that so I thought I would just share with you guys I have my water over here and it's actually sitting on a, I think it's like a candle holder or a candle warmer. I think that's what it is, but it could be a mug warmer as well. And these I just picked up on the side of the road, actually at a locate. And then these are dry, they feel dry. So put those over there. We'll see how, if we can do this without a bunch of critters. So where are my bags of fluff? I got two bags, uh, they're from, sorry, Curly Fur Felted Creations. So, and I got them, they're called Wooly Bun Crumbs. Then I got the Bold and Bright, and then these are um, neutrals. Because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. So, you know. So we're going to pick out some fun colors that kind of, you know, mix and match with the um, front cover. You know, I know we have like um, rust and yellow, so let's see what we can find in here. These are going to be fun though, I think, so, and some green, you know. I'm not sure about that, but maybe if I kind of mix it, we'll see. Okay, so one thing they said was very important is you want to do strands. And I don't know if it would work, you know, just in a little um, thing like this. I should try it just to see. Let's do a color that I'm not 100% in love with. And just see if I can squish it into a ball being. It's just, I think it's just wound up. I don't know if you have to do this crisscross thing or whatever, but what I do is I make a couple of them and I just let them sit in the water. Now this is just plain. It's a hot water. Uh, they said you want to use hot water and like a drop of dish soap, which I did find out is pretty important. I think it helps you, um, if you don't use it, it's almost too squeaky clean and it doesn't really like get the agitation I think that you need. So I'm just going to see if that will felt up just a little you know thing like that so you want to kind of strand it so I'm gonna do a bit here make sure the cats don't come over I have one at my feet but this was kind of fun to do I just I was stressed thankfully Betty and her family are well uh, Lindsay's family seems everybody seems to be doing well as you know down in Florida too uh, a lot of property damage and stuff but 
as far as we know, uh, I haven't heard of any loss of life, though that might change. Like uh, Lindsay was saying, people may have, you know, not evacuated and maybe nobody knows yet. But it looks pretty good right now. So, but I'm sure, you know, if something tragic happened, but I was telling her, you know, if all they have to deal with is property loss or property damage, that's so much better than loss of life. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So I'm just doing a couple of strands. You need quite a bit because I think I want them at least the size of a nickel, maybe even a little bit bigger. I'm sure somebody's going to say, you're doing that wrong, but you know what? I'm just doing it <laughs> like I saw it on the internet so this one oh this is one when I first got them I was playing with my um, needles because I thought well maybe I had to use a needle but this works so much better so I'm just gonna wind it one way and then I'm gonna flip it and grab another little piece and wind it another way they say you want to kind of crisscross it but since I'm doing circles and then the other way I thought you know that's kind of crisscrossing and you can kind of do it like catty corner but one probably about this size would end up being the little ones so I want it a little bit bigger than that just kind of mixing my colors Like I said, if you don't want to deal with this, but you want kind of the same, you know, you have these guys hanging around or whatever, then you can actually order the balls pre-made on Amazon. So I think they're like in millimeters, the measurements are. It's kind of fun though to just sit. It's very cathartic, just kind of of zoom it in and I don't know how far we'll kind of see you know kind of measure it I was just kind of guessing about the size I need some of them are larger some of them are smaller but for the most part at a pretty good size so I would say and that's kind of small isn't it so about the size of a nickel I would say fat <laughs> we'll try it and see gonna put this orange in it maybe one more then I'm just gonna let it sit in my water and get another one done I don't know if it matters if it does anything but I think I'm gonna mix this with the just one a little circle and it's so funny because when you're working on you can just feel them tightening up it's kind of mix and match red and orange Oh, the other no news I had is Lida will be here next weekend. So Clint and I are going to drive up on a Friday. So next Friday, which happens to be the day the um, retreat is starting that I couldn't go to. And we're going to go up and get mom and hopefully be back home Saturday or Sunday early because we have, you know, Clint's on call 24-7. Typically, we don't have to worry too much about work for those few times, but we told her he may not have his surgery. We're not even looking at it at this time. But um, she still wants to come. She's all excited. Uh, was talking about fixing up her room. Cause, you know we have that little spare room and it's really mom's room we always call it mom's room this one would be fun if it kind of turns out um stripey or something i think i can get one more from those guys but yeah so we're excited to see mom found out her sister seems to be just fine she never did make it down to see her sister and she's written her and everything, but uh, Clint did a welfare check on her yesterday, and they saw her last week sitting in her front yard, so she must be fine. She just doesn't 
isn't interested in talking to anybody right now, perhaps. So mom will be back. Uh, I still feel like it's a little, I mean, I don't know, I imagine, and you guys might know, uh, if it's too small, like after you get it down to this point, can you just add to it? I would think you could, right? In fact, we might just take one of those and give it a try. Somebody else would probably know better than I do. Of course, I'm not smart enough to <laughs> look it up on Amazon to see if they have them felted balls or look it up on Pinterest. Instead, Michelle, let's make our own. Okay, so let's go. Let's just wrap up the rest of this real quick. Let's take this guy and we're just going to try it. I know I have ones they would fit in. I think it would work though. I mean, why wouldn't it? So if I made it too small, you know, I can come back. I know they said you want to kind of crisscross it. We're going to try that green one and see if it does anything. That yellow is way bright. I hope you guys could see what I was doing all this time. <laughs> okay, sorry if you if you haven't been. Just winding it. So focused on this that we didn't get it done. But yeah, we're excited. Excited to leave the house for a few minutes, you know actually go somewhere even if it's just temporary okay come on you and then one more this way so we'll try it and see what happens okay so I'm gonna put that in there too Let's try this guy. I don't know. He's always oh, really thin for one, huh? And then you just want to, you can kind of see bubbles from the soap. And you just want to kind of wind it like you're making a Play-Doh ball back in the day when we were all kiddos. And that's going to agitate it and felt it. You know, that's going to work. It feel, you can feel it kind of coming together. But maybe not. Let's see. It has that little piece in it, which might be okay if you glued it into, you know, an acorn. But you can feel it hardening, which is so cool because it's felting. And then after I get done rolling balls and stuff, um, I just set them aside. See, it is working. I don't have to go through all that um, stuff. Maybe all I need is a few of these, but see how we'll see how big it turns out. Hey, baby. Mommy don't have nothing over here for you. And there we go. And then I'll take it in there and just rinse it just to get some of the soap out. I mean, there's not very much in there. But they did say you want to um, put soap in there. And I tried it without the soap and it didn't work. Makes it too, I don't know, too something. Ooh. These might be too big. I mean, they're not really. Yeah, so I'm just putting it in between my palms. And you want to kind of press, press your palms together pretty hard so it gets kind of compact.
Oh, I can feel it tightening. See, that one might be way too big. I don't know, though. It might not. That's a good thing, too. At least if you're, you know, um, getting your acorn tops and stuff in the um, wild, you can kind of pick and choose. You can purchase those online. I think I need to take them down just a little bit, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty hard. But I think I have a really fat one over here, and that might look kind of cute. What do you think? Let's see, this one maybe? So it might work. Let me keep doing it just for a little bit longer and just see if I can get it any smaller. So I don't want it quite as thick, huh? And there we go. It's super tight. I think you could even make cat toys out of them too, you know. I think it will fit in a couple of them, so that's good. Okay, I don't want to go quite that big. So this is the one I think that has that one little ball in it. Let's try him. I'm not going to do tons of this. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to how I was doing them. I tell you though, if you can just do those little niblet things and pop them in, you know, in there. Ooh, look at that one. The colors are going to be fun. Did I try that in one of them? That's a good size too. But see, this one is too big for, too little for that one. So maybe half, is that right? About half the size of whatever you put into it. Oh, I love the colors on this one. Hold on. You can feel it starting to tighten up. Then we have one more. It's kind of got a floopy there, but... I think that would work. I mean, so cute. Look at that color. I love it. Okay. And then let's do this one. And it worked. I mean, it was just a smaller one. You just put that one ball in there. Though that might be the ball. Because it's kind of the same color as that. Somehow it looks like maybe the ball worked itself out. But, I mean, look at that. It's just like a big crinkly mess. But the soap kind of, I don't know, lubricates it or something. It definitely feels different when you use soap and when you don't. So when I'm ready to put these together, I will show you how I'm going to put, put them together. Um, I'll probably put a bunch together and just show you on one or two of them. It does take some elbow grease. <laughs> but look at that one. It's kind of coming out stripy, which is kind of fun, isn't it?
Look at that. I love the colors. So I'll probably do one more and we'll try something else I wanted to kind of mess with. So you get prettier colors like a, you know, of course a combination because of the, um, it's pretty hard now. So it's a little big. So I think I need to definitely take them down just a little bit. But I mean, sometimes you have bigger, you know, ones. You could also just keep them, the big ones, and we could you know, go back out into the wild and look for more acorn caps. We have them all over. But isn't that fun? Okay. So let me grab... Look at this one down here. This one's already kind of mixed. Let's put him over here. Like I said, I don't know if that's a necessary piece. Um, and let's... Just kind of like a maroon. Oh, here's a maroon. Ooh, look at that one. That one's really pretty. Maybe if we... This is one we pulled from from yesterday, I think. And if I wind it... I don't know if all these little... She says they're like tater tots. And they are. They're about the size of tater tots. They look so tiny on the thing, but... I was thinking if we just kind of, you know, put some colors on the outside of it, and then we can kind of still mix and match our colors there. Okay, so let's do this one. Big mess. Gonna be so nice and easy though if I can just put a chunk in there and roll it. I'm just learning on these. I was just thinking, oh, I have all these acorns and I need little felted pieces to go with them. So yeah. <laughs> you can feel it starting to turn into a ball. So this is probably what I'll be doing most of the day. <laughs> it's just working on these. I'm home because I am not feeling very good and Clint didn't have tons to do. So I did the dishes and ate breakfast. Clean up house for mom. I know you don't care mom, but you know. Kinda. I kind of like them a little bit more um, oval, more than like a circle. I think that kind of helps too, you know, once they go into a, that one is like perfect. Let's see this one, see if I can manipulate it into more of a, there we go, more of a, uh, Okay. I mean, it doesn't take tons of time, does it? Here, Lucy. She's over there playing. <laughs> she has these one little balls that she loves. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but you know, that's why I have a towel down. Lots of work. I can feel it in my shoulders. <laughs> I know. But the good thing is with these, um, this roving, I should have enough to last me for the rest of my life. <laughs> right? Unless mom wants to add some to her, I'll pack it. I'm not sure what this is. 
the colors are. Oh, mom's going to bring her spinning wheel, hopefully. And she can do some spinning, show you how she spins her alpaca yarn on um, the internet, or on a video, on a spinning wheel. Kind of oval, there we go. It kind of worked out okay, and then I don't think it matters what, you know, how long the, yeah, I think that's going to work out just fine. You can turn it either way, but I don't think it matters really how long the nut is, you know. In nature, nothing is perfect. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll rinse these out, rinse them. I don't know if it really matters, but I'm going to rinse them and let them dry probably overnight. And then maybe tomorrow we'll, I'll show you how we put them together. Because I do want, you know, I don't think it's a good thing to not let them dry. These are really dry. You can feel it. But these are all pretty wet, but we did pretty good. We made two, four, six, seven in 26 minutes. That's not bad. And see, some of them I'll need smaller ones. But that's so cute. And then we'll glue it in and they use like a little drill and then put like a metal piece in there to hang them from. Which is kind of what I'm considering. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. So I hope that was helpful if you're interested in like felting your own little um, acorn. Acorns I guess is what they are. To put with your acorn caps. Um, they did say you don't want to cut your roving because it doesn't blend as well. So I think they turned out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, and we're still looking at Saturday. The book will be going up um, for sale on Etsy. So if you're interested in that book, look for it on Saturday. Uh, in the morning, I would do a full flip through of the journal. And then I'll tell you um, time, what time it will go up. So you can go and look for that if you're interested. So guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.